This past summer, I did a unit of clinical pastoral education at St. Louis University Hospital. And I want to say this to everyone who is listening, but especially to those of us who are, are or are going to be religious professionals at some point to help our neighbor to do justice and to love mercy, our hearts must break open. And I am not saying this because theoretically it's a good sentence. I'm not saying this in an inspirational manner such as you might see on Facebook and in front of a picture of a sunset. I am telling you this because this is the gift that I got from my summer of pain. I learned to ask for help. I showed up to the difficult moments of my life as my vulnerable, awkward self. And I did the best I could to be present regardless of fear. I let my heart break in the best possible way and it was transformative. To be in relationship and to show up then, we must be our authentic selves. Authenticity implies vulnerability. Holding the fear of being seen as we are and still going ahead, visible in our outer appearance, in our identities, in our choices. Friends, I want to offer up that we can think of the deeper meaning of the word protect that appears six times in Psalm 121 as this promise, this mutual relationship, this network, this is how God has got us through us. Let me say this again. God protects us through us. And God also suffers through us and heals through us. And God is present among us when we are together in mutuality and solidarity. Our willingness to accompany each other across the threshold of uncertainty, that is the light spilling between us and through us, creating hope and showing us where God is. Thank you.